Hey y'all, welcome back. Y'all, it's freezing in here. I had to grab a jacket. <laughs> it's not really that it's freezing, probably it's just, I'm not feeling well. And I'm cold, my hands is cold. We're getting ready to get winter in the next day and a half. So my body's probably prepping for that. But anyway, how y'all doing? Welcome, welcome back, welcome if you're new. Y'all, if you're new, stick around. I'm not, today I'm not going to be my preppy self, my up and about self. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. That's how I'm feeling. Look at my thing. My uh, tear tray is done. I'm gonna sh At the end of this, I will show you a clip of that as well as the one at the front door. That's what I did. That's all I did these last couple days. I ain't did nothing else. I just came from Target. I was trying to tape a video for y'all. Nothing panned out today. So... I ran out to Target and I got cranberry and wait. And y'all, this is how bad I was feeling. I went in Target and I just got this. I ain't even look at nothing else. I got some diet cranberry juice and I got some cranberry pills. I have an infection in my kidneys and it hurts. And I took ibuprofen maybe about two hours ago. I'm feeling a little bit better, but I still can barely bend up, stand up straight. So, um, yeah, but I wanted to kept, uh, touch base with y'all. And um, I did start a video over the weekend, right? And so when I went back, I was like, oh, I'm gonna put this video up for them. When I went back to look at the clips, it was everything that I had said in the live was in that video. I laughed, I said, you know what? I just deleted the clips. I said, I'm gonna come on and talk to y'all. But anyway, I wanted to talk about a couple things. And really it's nothing, so it ain't nothing exciting. But I wanted to talk about Christmas and buying and spending money for Christmas this year. Y'all, I know, every year, you know I do. I will, y'all, I ball out for myself. I don't buy nobody nothing. Send a little grand girl something, you know, get money. She don't want no gifts no at these days. Um, but when I tallied up her phone bill this year, I said she got her gift. She ain't getting nothing from me this year. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see. I always say that. But I am, um, yeah, I'm not buying myself. I plan on not buying myself nothing for Christmas. Nothing. Yo, Hobby Lobby got 75% off for fall. I don't want it. I didn't even go in there. I'm not going. I don't want that stuff. Uh, do you know how much uh, galvanized stuff I got around at the garage and, and in the storage space that, um, you know, I never used. I would buy it during all that 90% off and all that stuff is brand new with tags and I never used it. So I was like, I'm not using, I'm, I'm satisfied with the way things are right now and I won't be changing out for a while. Um, even going into spring with the, the decor I have now, once I take my tree down, tree, well, the different trees that's in the house, um, really, I'm still set. Like, it's, I don't have to change up, right? And that's the one thing that I was looking to do because of the lack of space that I have is just having an all year round. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't tack in some spring flowers here or there or um, something like that. But the colors that I'm dealing with right now, I'm fine with that. And the accent pieces and, and the way things are looking right now, I'm okay with the way it is. So I won't be changing up for probably a while. Um, I am going to get in that um, room and finish sorting through that stuff. I need to get rid of that stuff, though. I've got a lot of stuff i got to get rid of. I want to have a sale, but um, I think I'm going to do a Facebook situation. I think I'm going to do something including Facebook for that. But anyway, um, yeah, that's it. So that's what I was doing. I also wanted to talk about um, again, and I have mentioned this uh, several times with y'all, but I wanted to kind of reinforce the whole decorating uniquely for you, right? On a budget. And one way you know you're not decorating, decorating uniquely for you is when you can go in the store and say, I want that, 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 and that. Because guess what? Sandy coming behind you, she's going to say the same thing. I want that, 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 and that. And then Susan come behind you, that, 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 and that. 
And then you're going to get a special invitation to Sandy's house because your friend Shirley wanted you to go. All the S's. What's up with that? And you're going to see your exact living room in Sandy's house. You see what I'm saying? Now, ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but it's not uniquely decorating for you, right? So, um, I say that to say it takes time. And I'm mentioning this because that gets wrong. It takes time to allow allow the pieces that you're going to use like your accent pieces or just any pieces you're going to use in the room especially your main pieces allow them to find you right and so like i said you know you're going to either find it on sale 90 percent off is coming up at um hobby lobby and they are going to have things that they call fall that you could use for all year round and they call christmas and you can use them at all year round right all the sales that's going on just find little pieces that you like. Remember, size and shape is what you're looking at. Because you don't need everything to be the exact color. That's what paint's for. You can always paint something. Even if you just bought it for 90% off, you can make it do what it do. You know? So those things. Now, I'm saying all of this, y'all, not because I'm this professional. Because I ain't. But I keep, I've been getting these questions. I've been getting emails. I've been getting... Um, messages through instant message from some of you guys and so i'm just trying to answer all of you at the same time so now the pillows oh every mostly mostly because i was going to use these pillows i got from this one place but i wound up using them outside i i bought about nine pillows i think or maybe more pillow covers from hobby lobby all of them were between $17.99 and $24.99 and i got them all for between three seven three dollars and seventy five cents and five dollars and 25 cents on sale going back i kept i went to maybe four stores four hobby lobbies because we got a lot around us but also i went back and seeing what else they put on clearance so all of my accent pillows for the guest room i got them where it would have been well over 200 dollars for the pillows and i got them for maybe less than 40 you know for all the accent i mean and i've got pillows that you could stuff in there you know what i mean the pillow covers um, the bedding was on sale. I want to say it was regularly $129. The um, quilt, uh, I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think I got it for like $46 or $44 on sale. Ugg, it's an Ugg quilt. It has fleece on one side and then the, the soft material on the other. Not as heavy as the comforter because I got the comforter on my bed. Um, and then I have... Um, the little accent tables, I got them on sale at Target for 30 bucks a piece. Because um, I wanted to change out. I wanted to take them bookcases out of there. But all of this, I didn't find at the same time. The two mirrors that I'll be using in there. Um, I got them for $10 a piece from Five Below. Uh, but, again, I went one time. They only had one. So, I bought it. And then I looked around at different five below's. They didn't have it. Two weeks later, I was like, I'm going to check this one again. The first the place I got the first one from. I went in there and didn't they have it? Yes. So they had a whole new stock of them. So, again, um, that room is not going to cost me four. I, I set aside $400. I didn't spend $400. Well, I guess we can include because I did buy a Christmas tree for, in there. No, I didn't. I bought the Christmas tree for my room. The Christmas tree that's in here, I already had it. So, no, I, I didn't spend anything Christmas-wise uh, or anything in there. Just a couple more little doodads from, like, Pop Shelf and thrift stores that I revamped and stuff like that. Um, and that's how, and that room will be coming together. It's, if my back wasn't bothering me today with this um, urinary tract infection, it's kidney infections, but it's all of it. Um, it's all the way from the front to the back. I mean, not the front to the back. No. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean, up the tract, all the way to the top, to my kidneys. So, um, and before I mess around with antibiotics, I like to use the cranberry first. So, that's what I'm doing. So, I found out I had it today. And I got the prescription for the um, probiotics. I mean, not the probiotics, the antibiotics. But I said, before I put that in and use it, I'm going to um, take the cranberry for two days. Drink, keep drinking the juice and keep, because each serving of the pills is um, one cup of cranberry juice. I'll be taking the pills with the cranberry juice. And then I'll take it three times a day.
for the first two days. Normally, it's knocked out by then. So I'll see. If not, if by the third day I'm still in a lot of pain, I will call the pharmacy and have them deliver. Let me tell you why. Because um, it's going to be winter. We're going into winter in Texas for almost a week. If not, yeah, almost a week. Tomorrow is the last day. If you got to get out there, y'all go. If not, I'm locking down. I think I might even bring my TV in. Now, I don't even know the temperature that's too cold to have your TV outside. But I know we're going down to like 33 in the morning. And no, we're not getting out of the 50s. And, you know, for the high for the day. No, I can't go outside. I can't. I don't have to have heat but because I can bundle up. But uh, And then when I'm cleaning or whatever, I'm doing stuff, like hopefully I'll be in that guest room. Um, the only thing is I'm going to have to get stuff, like breaking down stuff, breaking down in bookcases. They're going in the trash. I'm going to have to um, get that out to the trash, though. So I might have to do that. I'll bundle up and just take that stuff out piece by piece. No biggie. But, yeah, other than that, I'm on lockdown. Depending on how cold it feels. If it feels cold, I ain't going out there. <laughs> I can't do it, y'all. But, yeah, so I just wanted to touch base. This is just a little, little sit-down, chit-chat, letting y'all know I'm alive. Um, I got to get through this. Because this is one of, this right here comes from my, I told y'all I'm dis disabled. Y'all know that. So I retired early from my job. Um, I was injured. I had a spinal cord injury. And with that, it left me with paralysis to my bowels and bladder. Okay. So I will, bef most people don't even let the infection get to their kidneys because you feel it, but I don't feel it. So until it gets to my kidneys. When it does, I know it's bad. So that's why I said, let me go to the doctor. Get this test done and see what it is. If this is, because at first I was like, girl, you probably got lung cancer. <laughs> Let me tell you, I will Google the pain in your back. That's what I did. And y'all, I came up with, I had lung cancer. I was having a heart attack. Um, I was having all this stuff. And finally I was like, fix it. And I went to the doctor this morning. So, um, yeah. So now I'm just going to take a couple days to do this, to drink this and see if it gets better. I'm going to really try to do, get something done. I want to be done with this place. I want to be done with that room and just have every room done. Um, I wanted to have it done by the weekend. But I don't know if that's, if I do, it might be Sunday. Let me tell you, let me get a burst of energy. And I will, because the only thing I really, that's heavy that I got to get out of here is those bookcases. And I will break them down completely before I even move them. I will break them down to nothing. And then carry them outside. So I might be able to do it by Sunday. And then um, I'll be back to normal. Then we're going to get some cooking videos in. Because while it's cold outside, I will be... Uh, oh, I do have to go out tomorrow because I ordered stuff from Walmart. Groceries. Yeah. I wanted to, because I knew this weather was coming. I wanted to get some stuff so I could have homey, warm meals, you know. To add to what I already have. So, um... Yeah, I done spent about $280 in groceries in the last week. Yeah, so I'm just going to be in here until the weather gets better. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Leave me some comments. Let me know what's going on with y'all. I'm sorry I haven't been um, as active. But uh, this, this popped up on me. Yesterday, I was like, something ain't right. But I didn't know what it was. I had did a whole lot of stretching. And um, I felt gassy, so I was stretching, and I was, and so I thought, and that was Monday. So yesterday when I got up and I wasn't really feeling good, like it was worse, like my, I stretched Monday because I was feeling tight in the back. And then Tuesday, I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm in pain. Today, I was like, oh, what's today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah. It is Wednesday because I, I went to the doctor. So I called the early this morning. I was like, I got issues, bad issues. I need to get, see if I got a urinary tract infection. So I went in, come to find out you could buy the test at a CVS for $12.99. I didn't realize that until I went to go buy these today. And it was sitting right next to it. But I'm glad I did go to the doctor because I know I got to get back on my, you know, I'm back on my grind, but I'm not at, you know, I still need more um, tests done. You know, old age tests. Like, I need to get a mammogram. I need to get certain things like that. So, I'm glad. And, you know, they be in there like, let me see your insurance. 
Oh, she got good insurance. Here, and get this, and get that test, and get that test, and get that test, and go stand in front of the mirror with this test. It's like, they want to charge your insurance company everything. So, they sent me out of there with a whole bunch of um, appointments and um, the, the antibody. And I told the doctor. I said, I'm going to take the cranberry first for the first two days as long as I can. If I can't handle it, then I'll start that. So, we'll see. But by the time I feel the pain, mine is already bad. You know, so that's what I'm going to So, I'm going to see. By tomorrow, if I'm still feeling like this, I'm going to get that prescription. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm going, don't forget, stand by here. Because I'm going to show y'all a clip of the vignette at the front door. And I'm going to show y'all a clip of this. That's it. And then I'm done for the night. And um, leave me some comments. And I will... I'm not going to promise a video tomorrow. But it might be. Depending on how I feel. It might be a video tomorrow. Oh, look at her. Oh, Christmas tree. My Christmas tree that I told y'all was 120. It was 119. Um, It is now 169. I just looked it up. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, y'all. I'm still cold. And it ain't even cold outside. It was like 80 degrees outside. But it's just me. Look at her. Oh, see, this why I got Let me cut this off and show y'all a picture of the uh, thing. All right, y'all. Stand by. Okay, y'all. Here it goes. This is what I did. I added those amber-colored marbles in there and some black stone in there and some succulents and then up on this shelf i got um and the acorns and stuff is down there those little berries i got from dollar trees in here a couple times and a couple spaces see over there and um just all kinds of little things again another little garden type of thing but it's two-tiered and it's on here the rest of these shelves i haven't figured out yet i'll get to them i'm getting to it like i said i keep looking for stuff and it will find me so, all right, hold on. Let me show you that other uh, table. And then I'm going to say bye now because I don't think that um, I finished off over there. I think I just took a clip. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Stand by for this next clip and I'll chit-chat with y'all later. Okay, y'all. Here is my woodsy um, little vignette at the front door at the entryway. So this is what I've come up with so far. I got rocks and I got a little, uh, the clear ones in there to kind of represent uh, ice. Yeah, a couple reindeer and just something at the log cabin slash ceramic, mm -mm, ceramic cabin. Why can't I talk? But yeah, that's what I did, y'all. That's it. Just wanted to show y'all.